Well, hello everybody. Today I have a very rare free day during the middle of the week. So come with me as I go to a place I've been wanting to visit for a long time now. The Lone Star Flight Museum, south of Houston, near Ellington Field. Let's go. And so, even before arriving at the museum, you can stop by and see the Vomit Comet. This is a really famous airplane. It was used to train the astronauts on what it's like to be weightless in outer space. The airplane will cruise to an extremely high altitude and then drop suddenly, much like on a roller coaster where you become weightless on the way down. And for a short period of time, anybody inside of the cargo hold floats around totally weightless as if they were in outer space. I am fairly certain that this is frowned upon but I want to do it just to show the scale of how large this aircraft is. Oh, the wheel turns. Oh, at least that wheel turns. Anyway, the Vomit Comet, a very cool airplane. Now let's get back on target and make our way to the museum. Well, I've now made it inside of the museum, and I'm not sure what I was expecting, but this has exceeded those expectations. The part I'm in now is the World War II part of the museum, but there are different sections based on the era, and this place is cool. Let me give you a look around here. And there's a predator drone up on the ceiling. This is gonna be good. Okay, I never thought wooden propellers would be interesting, but you never know. And next to that, we have a cut down radial engine, which these things always kind of amaze me how they worked. Like how do all the piston rods connect to the same crankshaft when they're across from each other? And even now that I can see the inside of the engine, uh, I'm still just as confused. And just look at the size of the valves. This is absolutely an engineering marvel. And I was just told by one of the employees here that this plane still flies. So could you imagine sitting in the back of this gun turret in World War II, 20,000 plus feet up in the air, temperatures below zero. Much respect for our veterans. That is insane. Well, this looks really interesting. They have one you can climb inside of. This is gonna be neat. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I think I could fly this. Pew 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 pew. And another one of those seats. I can't even comprehend what it would be like to be inside of there when this plane is flying. And there we have an airplane with a freedom seed right in front of it. And there's a pretty good line to ride this thing. So this must be a pretty good ride. Let's see what it does. Yeah, that's a whole lot of nope. I'm out. So now I've entered another hangar, and supposedly this is the Korean War era aircraft part of the museum. That's more of the date that my father was in the, in the army. He was in the Korean War. And here's another one of those aircraft with the folding wings that I've only seen on television. And it is much larger and much more impressive in person. Some sort of airplane that looks like it lands in the water. 
Oh, we have the, the space shuttle and some sort of simulator here. I'm gonna go check this one out. Now we're moving on to another section called the Flight Academy. I'm kind of a science nerd, so I'm thinking I'm gonna like this part. No, I knew it. I told you I was gonna like this part. So how does this work exactly? <laughs> I wonder if I can put more than one ball in there. Let's see. No, just one. And here we have a demonstration of how the airfoil on a wing works. Let's see. And there she goes. This is probably gonna be funny, but I'm gonna try this thing. It's a hang glider simulator. And now I found an even neater section. It's called the hangar overlook. So you get to come up top and look down at the airplanes and also at that bad boy. I'm gonna walk around and check out the other hangar. If anybody would like to visit this museum, I'm gonna post a link in the description of this video to the website and also the address. The charge for me to get in was $18. It's uh, much cheaper for children, veterans, and senior citizens. So cool. And here's the overlook of the entrance. And if my navigational skills are correct, this should take me to the overlook for the other hangar. And boom, there it is. This is back to the Korean War era hangar that we visited earlier. It's unfortunate that the space shuttle simulator was not working today. I bet that would be a really neat experience. All right, let's get out of here. This has been a great trip. And so apparently they have private owners who fly their plane in and once a month they switch the plane out. And this is the plane of the month. This is one that I walked by earlier that had two freedom seed dispensers under the wings. Very cool to know this plane is still flying. I've only seen one of these folding wing airplanes in movies and it is a much larger aircraft than I expected in person. There is much more to see at this museum than I have shown you today on camera. And for now, I'm going to turn the camera off and enjoy the rest of my visit here. And for the final shot of the video, the Vomit Comet with the Lone Star Flight Museum in the background. Thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't with a drone, but it's what I decided to do with my day today. I'll see you on the next one.